Hey folks, David here. I was working on a lifelike engine and uh, got part way done, decided I should do a video on this. So let me show you what I got here. So this is a uh, shaft drive motor. And uh, most of the time that you find these, these little couplers here are cracked. Well, there you go. There's the crack in that one. And you can't buy these parts anymore. So, um, about a year or two ago, I tried to print one with the 3D printer and it didn't work out. And then I recently got a new printer and I thought, well, let me try it again. And uh, it came out pretty good. So there's the, uh, the coupler. And I also was able to print the, uh, the drive shaft for it. So this is really cool. So I've got the, uh, the couplers. And the drive shaft. So we'll put those in. You want these to fit a little bit tight. Uh, it looks like that one's a little bit looser than I want, but that's all right. There you go. Okay. When you put these on, you want the... Uh, the shaft in the middle to come just about you know to the edge of uh, the top of that you can see so you can't see the drive shaft coming through but it's just at the top of that right there and same on this one here like that actually that's a little bit too far there we go okay so what we want to do is put our drive shaft in here that and I'm gonna put the screw back in to make sure that we've got that those couplers basically where we want them I'll show you what I mean here what you want is to make sure that there's just a little bit of play in there that's a little bit too much Okay, that should, that should work like that. So there's just a tiny bit of play in there, but it's not too tight. Let me make it just a little bit tighter. There you go. I think that's pretty good like that. So these couplers are a little bit loose, so we're going to put just a drop of uh, super duper glue on there. What I'm going to do, hopefully that won't run down to hit our drive shaft. We're going to put just a drop. You know what? There's a better way to do this. Hold on. Every time I go to use super glue, you squeeze that, and then you end up getting way more than you want. So what I do, and then you spill it on your, your mat there. I put it on a piece of paper and then use a toothpick. So we're going to put just two drops on there, and let me get this off of my mat before it dries. Okay, so we got just like two drops on there, and what I'm going to do is let that dry for 10 minutes. Like that. Okay, I'll be back in 10 minutes when that dries. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes 
and we want to make sure that we didn't accidentally glue the uh, drive shaft in here or anything else we shouldn't. So the reason for setting this at an angle like that is because you don't want the glue to run into the motor here. Um, so that one's dry, so we got to flip it around and do the same thing to the other end here. Yeah, we want to make sure we don't get that glue into the uh, the gears here in the trucks. I know that's that's like four little drips, but um, I don't think I was getting much on there. But okay, we're gonna let that sit for another ten minutes and uh, be right back. It's been another 10 minutes, so that should be dry now. Uh, and again, we want to make sure that, well, we did have that glued just a little bit. Make sure that's working and our wheels are turning the way they're supposed to. Yes. Okay. So that's glued. It's in there. It's all good. So now we want to take this back apart. like that and we want to put a little bit of grease on this i should have uh trimmed that coupler just a tiny bit there's a little bit of extra plastic on there uh, well i don't think that'll affect anything so get our white grease here and we'll put just a little bit here like that. So you really shouldn't need it, but okay, great. I glued my pliers to the, all right, let me get another pair of pliers here. Nice. You really shouldn't need grease in there, but these, you know, it's plastic parts and they rattle and it, it Keeps them a little bit quieter. So you don't need it necessarily for lubric lubrication as much as you do to uh, kind of keep it quiet. All right, where did that screw go? Okay, had to do that off camera to get that screw started. Okay, so we got that screw in there. All good, like that. We'll give it a quick test. Um, now, some of that grease is gonna fly around when we start this. All right, very good. Now I did already clean the commutator on this and you've probably seen hundreds of videos on how to do that. And also you want to check on the bottom here. We can get this off, there's two little tabs there. Try and do this, you have to kind of pull those, and push, there you go, push down on the wheels. Okay, so you gotta watch these these gears right here sometimes crack and um, that might be the cause of these couplers breaking so you want to check these gears real close now i was lucky and i managed to find gears that worked uh this one this particular one didn't need it but uh funny thing since i got these uh was able to print these couplers and the drive shaft I think I fixed about six of these lifelike engines this week. Um, so you can find these gears on eBay. 
So you go to eBay and do a search for small gears. And then you find a page like this. And you want to select 14 tooth or 14 teeth and 0.5 modulus. And that's what fits in there. So then you got to drill this out to about three millimeters and you don't want to do that right off. You want to like do it in steps, start with a smaller bit and kind of, you know, work your way up and then they will fit on there. But a uh, good thing is I didn't need them for that. And uh, I did put traction tires on here and I cleaned all this. You've got to take these all the way apart and clean these because just the smallest amount of dirt in here, like something as, as big as a grain of sand gets jammed in there and that'll cause these to crack and cause your couplers to break. So you want to like take this completely apart and clean all these gears really good. So I already did that and put some grease in it. <clears throat> you really don't necessarily need grease. Uh, a little bit of oil should work. But the thing is, these these things, uh, there's a lot of gears in there and they're a little bit noisy. So the grease kind of makes it a little bit quieter. So that's already done. That's where you get the gears from if you need them. And we'll pop this back on. And I usually put a screwdriver underneath it here like this. There you go. Just like that. Okay. So that's a simple fix on that. So these are on Thingiverse. If you go to Thingiverse, here I'll show you. If you go to Thingiverse and search for lifelike drive shaft or a lifelike model engine drive shaft or something, you'll find these parts. Um, again, I've printed these with a filament printer. You could try to print them with a resin printer there is a an it's called revision 2 or r2 for these things here and the difference is that the r2 has a slightly larger hole here because i found that i had a friend of mine print them on a resin printer and the hole was too small and i tried to drill it and it cracked so um that didn't work if you print it with a resin printer let me know how it turns out. Or regardless, if you print it with a filament printer, let me know how it works out. So, yeah, all good. I Like I said, I already cleaned the wheels on this guy and cleaned the gears and everything. So I kind of, you know, removed that step. Of course, I used my little handy-dandy scratch brush there. Did my wheels up and the contacts in there and everything. Um, you know, if there's something, if you need me to show you how to do that, I can do another video, but, uh, I just wanted to show the drive shaft and everything. So we can pop this back together and take it up and watch it run. If you saw my video of the train show hall from, uh, Amherst, I ended up with like, uh, four of these shaft drive engine from there plus i had at least two others sitting around and i know i gotta dig through some boxes because i know i have some more of these shaft drives and uh the lifelikes with the uh, pancake motors really don't pull much but these actually are not bad at all so let me take this upstairs and show you this thing on the tracks all right Okay, so that is a little bit noisy. I probably should have spent a little more time filing that drive shaft and making it a little bit smoother, but uh, it works just fine. And like I said, these shaft drive motors uh, 
pull they'll pull a lot more um of all the ones that i did here i have some that actually run better but um yeah nothing wrong with that if you don't have a 3d printer and you're a friend of mine and you need a couple of those i can send them to you so uh keep them running there you go All right, thanks for watching. I was also able to 3D print a uh, drive shaft for a model power because um, these things are always missing. So this will be on Thingiverse as soon as I get done with this video.